Hi everyone, welcome back. We're, Maddie and I have um, done it again, ready to embarrass ourselves once, <laughs> once more. Um, so we're here with roles for this lesson. We hope you enjoyed our handstand lessons from last week. This week you're going to need a pillow. Um, so I brought a pillow from home. And you just need to have parental permission again. So make sure your parents are watching you um, so that you're nice and safe doing the activities. And always remember not to do anything that is too hard for you, something that you've never done before. Um, just do things that you are able to do. All right, let's get into it. Hi everyone, we're ready to do our Recreation 9 Years Plus. Um, and we can also do this for our Rec Plus classes. And our adults are more than welcome to join in with this workout. So we're going to be working on roles for our lesson today. Um, but we're going to get started with a warm-up. So we're going to do a bit of a strengthy warm-up. We're going to do 30 seconds for four different activities. And then we're going to do have a little rest and then do it all again. So it's going to be four minute warm-up all up. All right, so we're going to start with, we've got high knees. I'm just going to show them all quickly. And then the other one will be jump squats. So you're going to be squatting down and jumping. Yep, and then we've got um, our mountain climbers. <laughs> so going outside or you could do them going in towards your elbow. So you can choose which one you're up to. And then we've got plank as our fourth one. So you can go on your elbows. To make it a bit easier, you're gonna go on your knees, but make sure you keep your bottom down. And then to make it harder, you can go up on your toes and you can do kicks for the full 30 seconds. All right, um, are we ready? So standing up. So 30 seconds for each activity. We're gonna do it along with you. And you're gonna start with high knees, off you go. So you want to try and drive those knees up to your belly button. Nice and fast. 20 seconds left. Keep going guys, almost there. Eight seconds left. And now we're doing our jump squat. So down and... Oh. <laughs> Hands. You're going opposite with the hands, Maddie. Hands in and out. <laughs> Technical difficulty. <laughs> so keep jumping. You've got 15 seconds left. Keep going. Should be feeling the burn now. Don't go too low in that squat. Just going down enough to make it 90 degrees. And we're going to go into mountain climbers. So again, you can do outside mountain climbers for a challenge or you can go inside. So 30 seconds of these. Going well, guys. And if you can, go as fast as you can to make it a little bit more of an aerobic workout. Yep. Yeah. Eight seconds left. Three two, one, and drop to your elbows. So remember with this one, you could go on your toes, your knees, or you could do kicks to make it harder. So keep holding. You wanna try and push your back up off the ground, keeping that bottom up high. Keep going. 10 more seconds left. Five seconds. And relax. Awesome. So we've got 30 second break now. So you're welcome to grab a quick little sip of water, not too much. Or you can just shake it out and get ready to do it all again soon. <laughs> we've got another 15 seconds rest. <laughs> Going well, Maddie? Oh, it's great. <laughs> Good workout. 10 more seconds. And we're going to get ready for our high knees. So remember to try and push yourself and go as fast as you can. And here we go, high knees. So pushing your knees up to the roof, to your belly button. And 15 seconds, try and go faster, faster, faster. Go Maddie. <laughs> 10 seconds left. And now we're doing our jump squats. So arms in as you go down. <laughs> so this one, you really do start to feel the burn. So you want to keep pushing through. It's only 30 seconds. And squatting down as low as you can. Got 
10 more seconds left. Keep those jumps going. Keep poking that bottom out. Awesome. And mountain climbers. So again, you can go outside or inside. Maddie's going to go inside this time. Good pace. Keeping that pace up is great. Keep going. 15 more seconds. So trying to get your knee all the way to your opposite elbow if you're doing those inside ones. Five more seconds. And dropping to your elbows. So again, you can go toes or knees, or you can do those kicks to make it harder. And control your breathing. This is the time to breathe and squeeze your muscles. Got 15 seconds left. Almost done. Keep going, guys. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Great work. All right, we're going to do our stretches now. All righty. Okay, let's put that with our arms out, and we're going to circle arms backwards. And controlling your breathing after that. Good warm up. Deep breaths in and out. And forwards. And now we're going to try one forwards, one backwards. So start with them up and split them. And go in the other way. And arms out to the side, twisting. So you want to keep your body straight and just twisting your arms to each side. And then twisting down to the ground. And back up again. So keeping your head looking forwards. And then hands on your hips, stretching your neck. Side, side, down and up. And again. Down, up and one more. And rolling just in front. So from your side to the other side. So don't roll backwards. You just want to roll in front. Awesome. All right. And hands on your knees, rolling your knees around. And the other way. And your ankles. And hands on the ground, straighten your legs. So you're trying to get your nose to touch towards your knees. And then tuck again. Keeping your hands flat and straighten them. Keep your hands close to your toes. And standing up in a big star, legs out. And you're going to stretch over to one side. And standing up over to the other side. Trying to keep those knees straight. And let gravity do the work. Let the gravity pull you down. And then up and down the middle. And trying to get your hands flat. If you can, then get your elbows bent. Try and get your nose to the ground. But keep those legs straight. Awesome. And sitting in butterfly. And stretching your legs. And pushing your knees down and try and touch your nose to your toes. And deep breaths. Good work. Alright, then you're going to roll over and we're going to do a big seal stretch. So, on your belly. And try and touch your toes to your head. So, big arch. Keep that belly button towards the ground. And then the lazy cat stretch, pushing back. Keeping your armpits down to the ground and keeping your bottom up in the ground. So try not to let your bottom sit on your feet. Good. And we're going to roll our wrists around in a ball. And in a little wave. And stretch your wrists on the ground. And stretch them the other way. So keeping your arms straight. And now we can do our bridges. So if you can't do a bridge, just do another seal stretch. But if you can do a bridge, you're going to be pushing off your head. Good strong arms. And trying to get those knees straight. And coming down. So only holding 5 to 10 seconds each time. Do a few rocks. And then we're going to do a bridge with 5 kicks on each leg. Good strong arms. 
straight leg and we'll swap legs straight legs Maddie <laughs> and coming down rock and roll and our last bridge you can do your bridge with five rocks over your shoulders so bend and straighten your legs each time try and keep your feet flat on the ground Good work. All right, go grab a quick little drink of water if you need it. And we're gonna go on with our exercises for today for our handstands and rolls. Okay, everyone, we're gonna work on some things that we did from last week quickly, just as a recap. So we're gonna do some needle kicks. So starting the arms up, a good lunge, and then kicking that leg up and back in. So you're trying to work on getting to that split. So you're gonna do three on each leg, kicking up high and snap into that lunge. And then we're gonna go other leg. So squeezing tight and kick hard and snap in. And then one more. Good job. All right, now we're gonna work on either L handstands or handstands, we can do both, but we're gonna show you both of them. So standing up tall and you're gonna point one foot out behind you when you do the L handstand. So you're gonna do three of those. And you can also practice these on your bad side as well. And last one, or non-preferred side. And then now we're gonna do a full, L, a full handstand. So you're gonna stretch up tall, a good lunge, snap your feet together, and land. Awesome. So you're doing three handstands, just a recap from last week. And remember, if you're gonna go over, I'll get Maddie to show you, if you're gonna to kick too hard and go over, I want you to cartwheel out. So never roll out or crash over onto your back. I want you to just cartwheel out. All right, so now we've done our handstands. Now we're going to roll, move on to our rolls. We're going to first of all do some Superman and dish shapes. So we're going to start on our back, have your arms up, and you're going to try and keep your feet and your hands off the ground. Keep your lower back on the ground. And you're going to roll over onto your belly and arching, and then all the way over onto your back again. Cool. We're going to try to go a bit faster. So you're going to roll and all the way over. Good, and then we're gonna go back to the beginning. So keeping your hands and your feet off the ground and rolling fast and awesome. All right, now we're gonna try and do them with some um, stomach exercises in this, some midsection. So you're gonna do um, three V snaps or um, lemon squeezes. So you, Maddie will just quickly show you what a V snap is. So you're gonna go up. So that's a V snap or a lemon squeeze is where you bring your feet in and then once we've done three of those, we roll over and we're going to do some back arches. So these are our back arches. So you're going to go up and down. So three of those. All right, so we're going to start on our back. So first of all, you get to choose if you want to do the V-snap or the lemon squeeze. The V-snap is the harder option. So you can choose whichever one. And you're going to go three, one, two, three. Arms up and roll. And three back arches. One, two, three. And roll. Three again. One, two, three three and roll and three one two three and relax <laughs> all right we're going to go back again so holding it up and three one two three roll and three one two three and roll one two three and last one one two and three <laughs> and relax all right we're going to do some candles now so you're going to hold your legs up you can put your hands under your hips to make it harder you can put your arms up along your body or along um, behind your head Ooh, trying to keep it up nice and tight all right so just holding that candle <laughs> yep squeezing tight Awesome. All right, we're going to do a candle rock to stand now. So you're going to start sitting up, Maddie. Hands in front. And your hands never touch the ground to help you up. So they're going to go up to your ears when you rock. And standing up on your feet. Awesome. To make it harder, you can add a jump. So you're going to rock. Feet come down and jump. And to make it harder, you can do a 360 jump at the end as well. So try that. Arms up. Rock. Swing your arms and jump. Good job. All right, we're going to grab our pillow now. Yep. And you're going to put your pillow down. And we're going to start with a forward roll. So you're going to start with your arms up. Hands going down. So you want to have a lot of pressure on your hands. Tucking that chin down and you're going to push through you. 
onto your feet. Awesome. So we're going to try five rolls. So arms up, hands down, tuck your head and roll. So in our other video, we showed how to um, spot the roll for our younger ones. If they need help to spot it, um, go have a look at that other video. So roll. Awesome. And we're just going to let you guys do two more on your own. <laughs> so Maddie doesn't get too dizzy trying to help us out. <laughs> awesome. And then once you're done, um, we're going to do a side roll. So you're going to go on your knee. You're going to have one leg out to the side, arms out to the side. And you're going to bring your arms into your body, straddle in the middle, and then getting up on your knee on the other side. And then you can try and go back the other way. So keep that knee in, out, and arms in, straddle and up on that other leg good so you can try a few more of those um, and you can have just pause this video if you want to try a few more and then we're going to work on our straddle rolls so we're going to stand up behind the pillow so legs out arms up you're going to put your hands down on or near the pillow and then tuck your head and we're going to get up with bent legs so we're going to straddle roll and tuck and stand up awesome so try again try a few more of those arms up Hands down and tuck and roll. Good job. All right, now we're going to try a pike roll just the same way, but feet together this time. So arms up, hands down, tuck your head and push and bend your legs to stand up. And we'll try it again. So arms up, hands down, tuck your head and push. Good job. Awesome. To make it harder, you can try and get up from the straddle with straight legs. So you just gotta make sure you put your hands down in the middle. Maddie, do you wanna show them how they finish in the straddle with their hands in front? Do the whole thing. You can do the whole thing, yeah. So legs out, hands down, roll, and hands go in front and you're gonna try and get up onto your feet. So we'll do one more of those. So again, in the other video, we showed how a parent might be able to help assist getting them up. So if you wanna have a look at that one, hands down, tuck your head, roll, and up. Awesome. And then to make it really hard, you can try and get up with straight legs in the pike, but we don't have to try and show that one. <laughs> awesome. All right. We're going to get on to our stomach strength now. Okay. Let's get stuck into some core workouts. So we're going to do crunches first. So hands behind your head. And you're going to try and keep your lower back on the ground the whole time throughout this. And squeezing your knees together and crunching. We're going to do 10, but you can always add on more if you want to do this yourself. And then we're going to do twisting, elbow to one side. Nice and fast. And then you're going to lift your feet up off the ground. You want to try and keep it at 90 degrees. And then once you've done 10, you can straight, oh, you can twist, sorry, twist. <laughs> Keeping that lower back on the ground. And then straighten one leg. Keeping it off the ground and keep that other foot a bit higher, Maddie. Foot up a bit higher, Maddie. Which one? That one. <laughs> yeah. And then swapping once you've done 10. Yeah, so trying to keep your leg at 90 degrees. And then lifting your feet up to the roof, feet together, and reaching towards your ankles or your toes. So nice and fast. And then last one, hands down, and you're gonna lift your feet off the ground, your bottom off the ground. So 10 of these, so just little bounces up to candle. And relax, we're gonna do it all again, one more time. So hands behind your head, and crunching. And twisting. Keeping that lower back on the ground, keeping your knees squeezed and knees up. Lower back on the ground, always pushing your belly button down and twisting. And keep breathing. And then one leg straight, one bent. Keeping that foot always off the ground. And then swapping legs after 10. And keep going, nearly done. And then lifting your legs up to the roof and reaching towards your ankles. 
So just little ones, not trying to bring your arms all the way back, just keeping your hands up. And then hands down and lifting your bottom off the ground. Should be feeling the burn. <laughs> awesome. And we're going to get started with some scissor kicks now. So sitting up. Hands behind. And straighten those legs. And scissor kicks. And side to side. And bicycle. So we're just doing 10. You can always do more, 15, 20, if you're wanting to get more of a challenge. And then straight legs, and you're going to tuck your knees in and out. So going just straight, not going side to side, just in and out, nice and fast. And now you're going to go twisting towards one shoulder. So out and twist towards one shoulder to the other shoulder. Twisting. <laughs> <laughs> and relax <laughs> all right and then we're going to do um our what are they called russian twists so if you want to make it a bit harder you can grab a water bottle um or you can just do it without one for no weight and you're going to lift your feet off the ground and you're going to twist side to side nice and fast and you want to get to 20 of these really fast 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 and once you've done 20, we're going to have a little break and we're going to do our scissor kicks one more time. <laughs> 10 second break. And lifting your legs up and kicking. So just 10. And side to side. Then bicycle. And going out and in to straight. And then you're going to go out and in with a twist. All the way out. And then the last one, Russian twist, 20. And go. Fast, fast, fast. Keep your feet off the ground. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And relax. All right, you can stretch your belly. So laying on your belly and then pushing up like a big seal. Deep breaths. And then stretching to the side. So you're trying to push, push up off that hand so you can get more stretch through your side. And then to the other side. And then we're going to do our lunges for our splits. So up, and we'll do a big cool down stretch. So lunging forward, trying to keep that back foot straight in line with you and making sure that this front foot is not too close to your hips. So you want to keep it out in front and then straighten your leg and nose towards your knees. Keep pushing that knee straight. And then sliding into your splits. And we're just going to hold this for 10 seconds, but I want you guys at home to hold it for more than 30 seconds. Up to a min uh, two minutes would be great. And you can just pause the video if you want to keep holding it. And we're just going to come up and we're going to go other leg. And stretching back, straighten that leg. So pushing that knee straight, point your toes. Keeping that back foot straight and then sliding forward, pointing your toes and keep looking forward, <laughs> keeping your chest up. And then we're going to go into our middles, so you can do a middle lunge first, so on your knees and lunging, so one leg is bent. And you're trying to make sure your hips are in line with your legs so it's nice and straight. And then we can go other side. Keep pushing those hips down to the ground. And then we can go into our full middles. So going up on your feet and sliding. And so you can stay on your hands or you can go onto your elbows that more challenge and you can 
make sure you're keeping your hips in line with your feet once again. So you don't want your hips too far forward or too far back. And again, just holding for more than 30 seconds, 30 seconds to two minutes. And Maddie's just gonna come up. And we're gonna stretch your arms, so one arm across. And other arm across. So deep breaths, catch your breath as you're going. And then one arm over, one arm under. Trying to touch your fingers together. And then the other way, one arm over, one arm under. Touching your fingers together. And give your arms a shake. Good job, guys. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. It was a little bit harder than the last one with, um, with our strength. Um, and we hope to see you next time.